Hi, Air Science, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see what is it that you need to know at this particular point in time. What messages is the universe trying to communicate with you? This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Let's go ahead and see what the universe or what the tarot guides would like you to know at this particular point in time. Hopefully this will help with your current situation or your current emotional state. Okay, on the bottom of the deck you have, what do you have? The Queen of Cups here. Okay, your intuition is coming in very strongly here, especially with the Queen of Cups energy. And some of you, I feel like you need to learn to trust your intuition a little bit more. Okay, you need to... Um, if you trust your, if you learn to trust your intuition a little bit more, it, it will never, it can't, it won't lead you in the wrong direction here, right? Worst case scenario, you learn the lesson. Best, best case scenario, you find magic here. So, trust your intuition. The more you trust it, the more empowered you become, the more stronger and the more healthy and happier you become. Okay, because your intuition doesn't lie. You must learn to trust that small voice inside of you which tells you exactly what to say or what to do or what to decide on here. Now five of pentacles energy, it feels like some sort of situation which feels very hopeless to you. I feel like there's still a hope left with the five of pentacles. Um, there may be someone here that has distanced themselves away from you or there may be someone here who has turned their back on you or a situation isn't what it was to begin with. It just feels like maybe you've recently lost your job or a financial security, your home, so, or your it or a romantic partner he has decided to walk away. You know, it, it can it does feel like it's a humbling experience. However, this too shall pass. It just feels like you might feel like, why isn't anyone coming to help you? Or why isn't anyone coming to rescue you? You may feel it, it may appear as though this person doesn't care anymore here. But, and maybe you're waiting for someone to come and help you. When really you need to be proactive and maybe ask for help. Or you need to be the one that helps yourself here. So, swallow your pride and reach out to people. Okay, and let go of any fear of rejection or anything like that because you do have people around you who love you and who are here to support you. Um, find them and let them know you need them or help yourself here. Because sometimes with the Five of Pentacles energy, it highlights a lacking mindset and maybe you're sabotaging your ability to create abundance because you're only focusing on what you don't have and what you lack instead of all the things that you could have. So, you know, all you're seeing is what go is going wrong instead of all the good things that are happening for you. Express for you, express your gratitude for your blessings and more of it will come into your life here. Because it does feel like in time, positive aspects here are going to continue to grow and become abundant here. And not having someone or something is going to be a thing of the past. Be patient with everything. You know, life is, there's a natural rhythm, a natural flow to life. It's, you know, ups and downs here, such as the ebb and flow of life here. You're going to be very busy here in the next coming weeks or even months here. In fact, there's going to be a lot happening for you, okay? There's going to be a lot, a lot of priorities, a lot of um, these priorities are going to require focus, your focus, your attention and your energy. 
but you're doing well i feel like whatever life is going to throw at you it feels like you're coping with the demands and i don't see you losing control i don't think anything is getting out of hand here you're not losing your balance sometimes you tell yourself that you haven't got enough time or that you're you know in a rush learn to slow down or remember that you don't have to be busy to be productive um some of you are also getting caught up in the small details of something and you're losing sight of the bigger picture here be careful that you don't miss be careful that you don't miss some sort of important date or deadline or some sort of other obligation because you're so busy focusing on something that essentially isn't all that much of a big deal Sometimes this card is a reminder to bring awareness to the concept of balance in your life, okay, in areas where you might not have balance. And I know you're probably striving for equilibrium or a balance, but sometimes nothing, okay, nothing really stays in perfect harmony, okay. Um, It's all part of a balancing act, isn't it? There's some sort of truth that is coming to reach you here. With the King of Swords energy. There's some sort of truth, um, some sort of mental clarity that is coming your way here. I feel like you will have a lot more clarity regarding a person or regarding a situation. And I know the King of Swords is someone who relies on his intellectual understanding, but I feel like he also has to stay open to his intuition here. So some sort of truth is going to be delivered to you, it's going to be handed to you, and it's not enough for you just to accept the truth as it is. I do feel like you have to, you'll have to rely on your intuition as well. Some sort of confusion is going to clear and where there was once confusion there'll be clarity and there'll be stability here now with the knight of pentacles energy it just feels like hard work is it does pay off okay so if you've been working really hard and you've been very productive and there's some sort of routine that you've established here um, hard work is and it feels a little bit repetitive or it feels a little bit dull, whatever this is. But you are going to see results and you'll, you'll be seeing results very soon here. Make sure you have a plan in place and you stick to a schedule here to get a job done. You might not be someone who works particularly quickly, but if you're consistent and if you're committed here, you will get the job done and you'll be successful here. Go with the flow and stick to your usual routine and I feel like you're going to reach a goal of some sort here. You also have to remind yourself to envision your goal so that you can determine the best course of action to move forward here. Okay, you also have the Ten of uh, Swords here and this is an interesting energy for you. You've got the Ten and the Eight of Swords here. Unfortunately, um, air signs, you might be the victim of a uh, betrayal or some deep wounds or a painful ending of some sort, okay? But it feels like there's a sense of peace and calmness to be found in the near future. So if if a contract has been broken or if you've suffered a job loss or if out of the blue an ending has come and rocked your world here, like a connection has ended or has broken down for you and if you're grieving the the sudden loss of something here understand that you're going to love and you will trust again and it just feels like some of you feel like if you've been stabbed in the back and you're still hurting over someone's actions here um, the pain inflicted on you it does run deep and i do feel like this marks the possible ending of a relationship or of a friendship here but just make sure that you don't you know you can't change the actions of another person but you can change how you respond to them so even if you've been betrayed harmed or if you've been hurt you do have a choice to pick yourself back up and move forward with your life 
rather than falling down here in a heap and you know feeling sorry for yourself some of you are no longer resisting change and you're allowing change to hurt you and you recognize that you have to you have to change or you have to you know invite change into your life to facilitate renewal and instead of fighting it allow it invite it here and eight of swords energy it just feels like you you're if you're feeling a little bit stuck or stagnated lately a little bit restricted by your circumstances with no clear path out or no clear way to go just understand you or your negative thoughts are what's keeping you there okay your self-limiting beliefs your inner critic here um, you're what's keeping you stuck if you're in an unfulfilling job or an un unhealthy relationship or if you're facing a significant amount of debt okay it's you are imprisoned by your own mental um, by your own prison of mental sorts here it comes as a warning that your thoughts and your beliefs are no longer serving you and you might be overthinking things or you might be creating you're fearing it so much that you're also creating your own reality you know you're considering the worst case scenario the more you think it the more you give life to it here so change your thoughts and your reality will change as well here guys all right and these are the messages that i get for you right now currently thank you guys so much for watching and listening appreciate your support by liking sharing subscribing to the channel bye for now